Welcome back, my trusty followers, to another match preview brought to you by the Slack and Armchair supporters. My name's Ashcals93, and it's another big game. I'm saying every single week, big game after big game after big game. It's Arsenal away. We're at the Emirates. It's half past four kickoff, and that is on Sunday. That's the 4th of February, Sunday evening, early evening. And, well, it's a massive game. Um, there's nothing too major um, has happened since we demolished Chelsea, other than Conor Bradley should have been given the key to the city after that performance. Unbelievable stuff from the young lad. Two, two assists and one goal. Um, I read somewhere that um, there's only ever been two defenders under the age of 21 with three goal involvements in a Premier League game. Trent Alexander-Arnold versus Watford, Conor Bradley versus Chelsea. So, I'm going to go through a lineup prediction, a score prediction, and just how I think the game is going to go. Before I do that, please like, please subscribe, please share me with your friends, family, colleagues, whoever you think will enjoy my content, please share it, please hit that subscribe button, and please like. Now, let's get into it. So, my score prediction, um, I, haven't, I, I haven't really put much thought into it. I always sort of do it off the cuff when I'm here and how I feel. Um... It's going to be a tight one, I think. I think it's not going to be like it was against Chelsea. But I think Liverpool will win. I don't know. There just seems to be a lot of momentum, a lot of belief amongst the team. I mean, we had Conor Bradley and Gomez starting at left back and right back against Chelsea. And I was thinking, oh God, especially when you got Robertson and Trent back. I thought, what's he thinking? And look at the performances they put in. So we've got quality all over the pitch. We've got serious depth, and I don't think there's going to be an issue, I think. And we, also, we've just been and beaten Arsenal at the Emirates in the FA Cup. The FA, yeah, the FA Cup. So, it can be done. We know it can be done. We just need to be a bit more organised, because they were all over us for like 45 minutes of football. They, they should have been three or four goals ahead, but they just couldn't score. They still are having issues scoring, but they're slowly getting back into the rhythm of things. Like this will be the third time we've played them in in about six weeks. There was one in the one in the Premier League at Anfield that was the twenty third of December. Then there was the one in the FA Cup there what two three weeks ago, and then now at, at the Emirates, it's going to be like we should have gauged Arsenal by now. We should know what we're doing. I think we'll come away with three points. We need to come away with three points if we're to stay five points ahead of City. In fact, we can go eight points ahead of City until they play the following day which would be great to put the pressure on them and be like, you know, come and get us. We're serious about this title. Come and get us if you're serious about it. It'd be good to get in their heads and be ahead even further when they go to play Brentford on Monday. So I'm going to go with 2-1. I think that's... It's going to be a tight game. It's going to be a tight game. Yeah, but yeah, 2-1. Two 2-1's one. Two one's my score. So now I'll go for a lineup prediction. Um... There's only one change from um, the game against Chelsea. Please don't um, kill me for it. So, that's my lineup prediction. I've gone with Allison in goal, of course. World's number one keeper. Can't fault him. Gomez at left back. Because I still think Robertson needs time. I think he will come on and do bits and pieces like he did against Chelsea. I, t I just don't see Klopp changing too much. You know... Why f try and fix something that's not broken? Um, the only change I have gone with is Connor Bradley at right back because yeah, it's a difficult one to drop him. I don't know how you do. I don't know why I did. I know, you, you get in the comments if you think I'm an idiot for doing it. That's, that's fine. Um, I just... Trent, when we, we played United and we played Arsenal um, close together, both at home and we drew both games, Trent was influential in both of them games and he was the only player who looked like any if anything was going to happen it was going to come from him especially in the United game I think he had the best chance and then in the Arsenal game he actually hit the crossbar um, you know he he was the most influential on the pitch and I think we'll need that against Arsenal and I think also Connor Bradley he's, he's played what three or four games in a row now not not doubting the kid but he's young, he's got young legs, he might get tired quite quickly, we don't know, so I don't know, I think it's about time he, des he deserves a bit of a break, so maybe now's the time to bring Trent back, um, 
but yeah, he's doing a great job of keeping Trent out of the team, isn't he? So um, Trent needs to lock up that spot. Um, then, of course, in the centre-back pairing, I've gone with Van Dijk and Canate. Of course, our best centre-back pairing, so they have to be there. And then McAllister, I mean, he's, he's turning into a brilliant centre-defensive mid, isn't he? That number six role, he's, you know, it's got his name all over it. So, of course, he's going in there. He's If Conor Bradley hasn't been so great that over the last few games, McAllister would be getting man of the match because he's been phenomenal in the midfield. Only for Conor Bradley being so young, and, you know, getting, what, five assists in four games and getting his first goal as well for the club against Chelsea. If it weren't for him, I think McAllister would be picking up the Man of the Match awards because McAllister's just been incredible. Um, and then I've gone with Jones and Saboslai. Again, Trent was the only change to the team. So Saboslai and Jones in midfield. Jones is having a great season. Saboslai, he's... He came in and started, he, went, he hit the ground running when he came in. Unbelievable. He still is. Um, just I just have a bit of issue. Sometimes his passing, just, it's just not accurate. It's just either behind the guy or too far ahead of the guy. And I know, of course, it'll come with time. He still is only young. He's only, what, 23, 24 as well. Um, but he, he's a monster of a player as well. I'm not, I'm not complaining. Just sometimes his passing is a bit dodgy. But, you know he still gets in the team straight away because he's he's an absolute he's a horse he's a workhorse he's just everywhere he's all over the pitch he could play in probably every position on the pitch because he just covers that much ground so of course he gets in the, the team just passing his accuracy in his passing is the only thing just the odd time and then up top again not changed how, how, how can you drop Jota you can't drop Jota He's just an assassin. It doesn't matter who he's against, where he's on the pitch. He can just get a goal. That goal against Chelsea. How has he skipped through Thiago Silva and Badia Shield? I mean, Badia Shield did have a bad game, actually. But he's just he just waltzed through them and then slotted it past the keeper. It was incredible. And then Nunes again on the left. I mean, I feel sorry for the man. I mean, he was part of... Everything that was good, he was part of, and he'd done so much, but the poor fella just cannot hit the onion bag. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know, but he's got to be in there because at the end of the day, he still got an assist for Diaz, um, the fourth goal, and at the time, we needed that fourth goal. Chelsea had just got one back. They were starting to put a bit of pressure on. Liverpool had made four changes in one go, and there was no, like cohesion between the players and that, I think that's how Chelsea got their goal and yeah Nunes with a little bit of man was putting a great ball Diaz with a tap in we needed that fourth goal at, at that time and also everything else he'd done in the game obviously he missed a penalty but everything else he'd done in the game was pretty good I mean his build up play it's, it's just his finishing if he can just score some goals but we were saying the same about Luis Suarez I'm pretty sure so It'll come. And then on the right wing, of course, I've gone with Luis Diaz. Because, again, same. He'd come out of nowhere and get a goal, just like he did with that Nunes cross. And he was he was pretty good against Chelsea. you know. But then again, the whole team was really good against Chelsea. So that's my lineup. That's my score prediction. And that's how I think the game is going to go. I think it's going to be a tight one. I think Liverpool will get there. Um, it's going to be difficult being away, but Liverpool will get there, I think. So my lineup in full is Allison in goal, Gomez, Van Dijk, Canate, and Trent in the back four, McAllister, Jones, and Sabaslight in midfield, and then Nunes, Jota, and Diaz in the front line. And um, yes, that's it. Um, I'm going to be live for the stream. I'm going to be about what quarter past four. I'll be on. You know, fifteen twenty minutes before kickoff, as I normally am. I believe um, Big D will be on the couch beside me. So we might have a few beers and have a bit of a laugh about it. And um, yeah, so I look forward to seeing you all in there. Again, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to like and share us with your friends and family. And um, I'll see you on Sunday. Until then, peace and love.